Ja. Sorry man, thanks. But I don't have time now. This is Philip, our product manager for the uh, Headwiser system and they created a new one. <laughs> it's nice. Thanks, but no time yet to see it. I think I see all the beamforming systems with acoustics, so how cool can that be? How long does it take? 10 minutes. I go for 10 minutes. Have a look. Wow, this looks great. <laughs> you have all the equipment here. Yes, Phil. So today I think oh, we should talk about this. No, is a new we, one. we start here because today <laughs> we want to talk about the history. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, the history. Yeah. And the history begins in 2009 with this device. It's okay. called VMA One. I remember that device. I, I use it a lot. I was a sales engineer with this device, and I love it. Because all the customers say, "Wow, this is so great." And yeah. How many cases do, do you need? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I need two big cases, yeah, exactly. look like bigger stuff, but we have the 56 channel and we have this triple eye technology, it's multi we call it, and normally you only have one camera with all the other systems, but we have three cameras, like a human has two eyes to focus on the object, and if you have a third eye, it's even much better, so it can focus directly on each object even after the recording, it was a big, big step, it was a milestone for Helicrosix. Exactly, but yeah. it started with this big cable. I remember that big cable. It was just one suitcase for the cable. <laughs> yes, yes. This is the biggest Lamo connector I think which is available. Yeah, definitely. Yes. It's impressive, but it's it's heavy. Yeah. yeah. But then we replaced this device in 2016 with the so-called device VMA2. The VMA2. On the first view, it looks the same. Yeah, same technology, same size, same software. But the big difference is the cable. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> the front end is now inside this device. It's so small. The first one was so big. Yes, yeah. the front end is lying on the floor. Yeah. And yes, we it made it able the that it goes into this device directly. So all the information would directly transform to be digital in here. Yes. And then we can present when it was the headlink. Uh, it was possible to combine with all the other headlamp models. Yes. So it was a big step. Yeah. And th so there was only the need for one LAN cable for the connection to That's the PC. All. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah. But now. Now? We are in 2024. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see it, eh? And I it, think today I have. It's definitely bigger. And the diameter plays an important role for the space resolution. So it's a bigger device. Okay, okay. let's open that one first. So, a second. which is called Headvisor VMA5. Oh, this is so much bigger. Yes, one meter. Yeah, but where are the two cameras? We don't have multiple eye anymore. Oh yes, we have. You see here, the multiple cameras. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is technology, yeah? Okay, it's a small camera. It can work still, can measure the distance. Exactly. Fine. Yes, because it's a so-called depth camera. Ah, so you see more power than the old ones. Yes. Oh, cool. And how many how many microns do we have here? 120. 120. So it's more than double the size. Yes, because you have 60s on the base array. There are also microns. Yes. Okay. So you can use the device in two configurations, with and without arms. So it's much more lighter. I can plug off the arms. Yes. And can still yes. just with the inner plate. Just this. That's it. I remember a lot of customers like to have it sometimes small because they want to use it inside of a car. Yes. And you just need it handy. Yes. But you need some hand grips in this case. You have. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! This looks 
Oh, this is nice. Oh, I can carry it like that. Really nice. Oh, can I switch it on? Of course. Okay. Oh, it's lighting. Oh, there are lights all over. Oh, this is practical. Now I can see that everything is connected. Every switch on. Oh, nice. A real big display shows me the software of Ethical 6, VNR5. Well, this is the full software I know. Let's see, had wireless software with all the settings. Yes. And does it already run? Is this online? Yes, this is online. This is directly the live view. I can show you. So now you should see me talking yeah, or making are. some noises. This is so fast. This is, this is so great. I can see some extra buttons here. I can press the button here, there, and there. Where, where is it? What's the idea? I show you. So these two buttons, yeah. the black ones, these are the parameter buttons. So the idea is to go through the menu and to navigate into the menu and to go to a certain parameter yeah. to change the parameter. For instance, the minimal the frequency range. So can you go from the frequency to higher frequency now? Yes, Without now. touching the, the laptop or a mouse yes. wheel? Just like, oh God. Just uh, if you go to the center frequency like this, now just with one click, you can change the border of the frequencies. So this is a hand device now? Yes. Wow. Can I carry it? Of course. Just Less than four kilograms. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really thin. It might, it's bigger, but it seems to be much lighter. Let's see. Okay, that's all I have to do now. <laughs> I got it. Look, I'm mobile. There's a mobile beamforming system and it's so light. I can even hold it in one hand. It's extremely easy to hold and I can now I can point to all the objects. Okay. So shall we do a measurement? Yeah, let's measure something. Here we go. I'm on land view. This is let it run. Ah, there's the engine. Let's see, I think a lot of here. Let's look here. Okay. So great, so easy. Just press stop and I got the record. This is quite big and it's quite high frequency content. Can I detach all the of arms course. now? Shall we do the same measurement without okay. arms? Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's the same device, but I only just have detached all the channels. So I have how many channels left? 60 channels. Still 60 channels in your all your right range and I have multiple eye technology that automatically takes the focus. And I can record now the same device. Yeah, please make a record. Okay. I just press just this button here. Yes, just the button. So That's right. it. All right. Yeah. Let me see. The result is the same, but I can see the resolution drops a little bit. Yeah, the, the diameter is bigger. So this is a small, yeah. But we have also solutions for this. Our new algorithm, which is called neural deconvolution, I'll show you. Neural deconvolution? Yes. I only know deconvolution. But deconvolution is not so fast. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes a lot. Now we make it's the same this, measurement. Yeah. Now it's turned on. Ooh, wow. It's even more precise <laughs> than before. But still capable in the online view. You can do deconvolution online. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is new. The precision is unbelievable. It's online. I can see directly where the noise comes from. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing. Okay, make a summation. I understand this is a huge step in beamform technology. Extremely handy, extremely powerful, big and light, easy to handle, easy to work with that. <laughs> so this is the first VMI file. Are there more planned? Of course, this is the first device, but they are available for everyone. That's the idea. It's not just for ourselves to our consulting department. No, this is for everyone who has acoustic problems. It's so easy to use. And if you maybe think maybe this can help on our testing and our problems, just, just get in contact with us. We make an appointment in your test facility and you will see this device performing on your problems. It's great. See you.